Hey, I'm Blimey. Good day, everyone. This is Sports Planet News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on Tyrese Maxey and Seth Curry, the birthday boy yesterday. Maxey and Seth Curry just really being in fuego on fire to be able to carry the Sixers team past some people being out of the lineup against the Chicago Bulls and the Detroit Pistons. Of course, prefacing this video, Joe Embiid still got his and did his thing against the Pistons. He got double teams, so it allowed others to get open like Maxie and Curry, and against Chicago, he still did his thing. Wasn't as potent on the offensive side, but that's because he was drawing the double team with other guys out, and other guys like Maxie and Curry were taking advantage. But let's get right into it. In the first game uh, against Chicago, Tyrese Maxey played 37 minutes to then play 44 minutes on his birthday the next day. This dude's very durable. He's also just an aggressive attacker, which I really like, which is something that watching from afar, which he's not doing, obviously, but Ben Simmons could learn from, where the thing I love watching in Maxey's game, obviously he's getting and he's going to get more confident uh, being able to take more shots, he's definitely already confident, it seems with that floater as he drives the lane, and he's very confident, the most confident when he can just put his head down, and have that aggressive rusher mentality, and just go through the lane, and lay up that nice, squeaky clean layup of his, which is when he's the most fun to watch in my eyes, when he just kind of takes it, finds a little gap in the zone, almost like a running back, and just goes through the defense, and drives to the lane, and lays it up, he's been very efficient, he's been a very good a uh, playmaker as well. He had six assists in the game against the Chicago Bulls. Tyrese Maxey did. And then if we move to the Detroit Pistons game where he played 44 minutes on his birthday, which is ridiculous, really stepping up for the team. He had 20 points, four rebounds in that game to go with two steals and five assists. That's like a... um. That's almost like a lesser on the score total point, but like a great point guard that we all have known in Philadelphia, and Maxie's better on defense than him, but Allen Iverson now he would have the steals with the assists, with um obviously the point total there as well. So I love the all-around game Tyrese Maxie is displaying, whether it's getting rebounds like he was able to grab in that game, and also obviously on the assist total, and just being able to be the aggressor, be a, a guy that's able to just go towards the rack, draw a foul, or get the layup. He's so efficient being able to hit him off a high glass two over bigger defenders. That's really fun to watch. Another guy, obviously, we do have to shout out is Matisse Thibel before we do get into um Seth Curry that this video is primarily about with Maxi. He's been a defensive menace. Three blocks against the Bulls. Five points, two rebounds. And then if we go back to the game or against the Pistons, excuse me, that stat line. And if we go back to the game against the Bulls, Matisse Thibel had eight points he had four rebounds, three steals, and two blocks again, and also an assist. So he's just a completely different unicorn type player on defense. The way he plays defense is just so unfathomably good and fun to watch. But now let's get into the great shooter, the absolute baller. It seems like he doesn't care if there's two people in your face. He said, get out of here. I'm making this shot. And that is Seth Curry this year. Against the Chicago Bulls, he had 22 points, five rebounds, three assists, and he also had a steal, which he's obviously not necessarily always one of those guys, but he pitched in on that side as well. So he's been an absolute baller. He only had 11 20-some point games this year. I believe it's now five or six for him on this season this far. So he's absolutely killing it on pace to crush his last year's total in that aspect. And then as we wrap up this video, to be able to help us get over the hump against the Detroit Pistons as well with his counterpart Tyrese Maxey and the aforementioned Matisse Thibel. Seth Curry was able to come and provide 23 points. He had two assists in that game as well. And then he made a couple shots that were contested. He made a couple very good mid-rangers as well. That's what I really like about his game this year as well. With guys out, he's really starting to establish his mid-range pop in and hit the shot or the mid-range fade well as well rather than just the three-point shot which makes him more of a multi-dimensional player. And that's really fun to watch and really fun to see. So to recap for this video, we have Seth Curry kicking butt from the three-point line from the mid-range. We have Matisse Thibel playing defense like Dennis or Matisse the Menace out there, if we want to call him that. And then we also have, of course, Tyrese Maxey playing absolutely ridiculous out there, a playmaker, able to get steals, and able to just be that guy that rushes right at you and makes a layup or draws a foul and is remarkably fun to watch. So this has been a quick video on just Tyrese Maxey, Seth Curry, and Matisse Stiebel being hot as firecrackers to help propel our Sixers past two good teams in the Chicago, well, past one good team in the Chicago Bulls 
and a team that has some competitive players on their team as youngsters in the Detroit Pistons, and the and Tyrese Maxey, Seth Curry, and of course, Matisse Thibel were no small part to why our Philadelphia 76ers were able to keep this five-game winning streak going and get these big wins this week. This has been Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boris. Subscribe down below. We're on the Easy Juice widget up above if you enjoy the content. Let's keep the hot streak going, Philadelphia 76ers. Peace out, everybody.